I think in week one, Justin Herbert will torch the Dolphins defense. Now, why do I think this? Well, let me pull up the film from last year where Justin Herbert had half of his offensive line healthy and a freaking rib cartilage injury and still balled out against a very good Miami Dolphins defense. Now, while I pull up these clips, make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content, man. It helps me out so much. And now, here's the first play. First play I want to show you guys before we start talking about how good Justin Herbert is, is just going to be a simple halfback toss to the left side for Austin Eckler. Now, let's take this back a little bit before he goes all the way down the field because this was a good play for him. Bradley Chubb, the outside linebacker for the Dolphins. You can see he's just going to rush right up the spot right here, attack this gap and this is going to be a crackback block for Joshua Palmer this is his assignment you can see he's just kind of playing a little bit behind Bradley Chubb is really quick you want to explode him off of that spot get him out of the play so that he doesn't touch up Jamari Sawyer he ends up touching up Jamari Sawyer though because he's so fast and explosive gets that arm around the neck and is basically performing a wrestling move he should be in the WWE because he was able to get away with that Jamari Sawyer is now completely out of this play, so take out one of the lead blockers for Austin Eckler immediately. Now, we have Keenan Allen acting as a lead blocker, getting the Dolphins uh, cornerback out of this play, and we have Gerald Everett also being a really good blocker against Jerome Baker, the Dolphins linebacker, so Austin Eckler is working up the field. He ends up getting a first down, making that safety miss, and getting a first down on this play, but... I want you to notice if Jamari Sawyer was able to get off cleanly from this play and avoid that takedown, the WWE takedown from Bradley Chubb, he would have been blocking this Dolphins defensive lineman. So go ahead and mark this guy up as blocked. And if Austin Eckler doesn't get tackled right here, this could be a very, very big game. He could possibly get a touchdown on this play. The Dolphins were very blitz happy in this game, but Justin Herbert knows that this play is going to work because this play beats man coverage. We got this route concept where Josh Palmer is going deep down the field and towards the sideline and Keenan Allen shallow and just hook right here. This is going to force this defender to play up on Keenan and Josh Palmer is going to have all of this room to work with towards the sideline. The defender actually slips. It doesn't even matter because that throw is so powerful straight to the sideline and Justin Herbert, check him out standing up in this pocket when Foster Serrell is getting absolutely blown back into Justin Herbert's face and then throws it with pressure up the gap, up the A gap, up the middle. Dude, Justin Herbert is so much better than a lot of people that are not Chargers fans think. That's, I mean, honestly. Here's another play pre-snap that Justin Herbert knows what the Dolphins are running. He knows that they're coming out with this all-out blitz. Melvin Ingram off the top of the screen. And so he's just going to check into this play where Gerald Everett gets a little screen pass. And now we can isolate our wide receiver and our tight end with the two cornerbacks and safety of the Dolphins. And that's it's just an easy first down on third and, what, four or five? on a blitz because Justin Herbert had the wherewithal to check into this play. I'm pretty certain that he checked into this. There's no way that Joe Lombardi called that, man. Come on. Now we're in the red zone. This is one I want to see from Kellen Moore this season. When you're in the red zone, fake a handoff, get Justin Herbert on the bootleg to the opposite side of the field. And we have Mike Williams going into the zone where Javon Holland is covering Joshua Palmer. So now we're going to have two Chargers wide receivers in this one man zone. Javon Holland has already committed to Josh Palmer. Now Justin Herbert just got to get that ball over the head of the defender. And Mike Williams just has to do a beautiful toe tap grab in the back of the end zone, man. Check this out. I'm just going to play this in real speed so you can appreciate Justin Herbert reading and Mike Williams toe tapping. Oh my goodness. Look at that freeze frame right there. And really, you can't blame Javon Holland on this play. He's taken out Josh Palmer. He's got two mans in, in, in his zone. What is he going to do? Again, Justin Herbert making the Dolphins defense play, pay in the blitz. Keenan Allen in motion towards the top of the screen. This cornerback blitz is right here. Justin Herbert immediately, his first read is towards that side. He knows he's throwing this ball to Keenan Allen before this play even begins. Jerome Baker is lined up with Gerald Everett. And now we got the safety. I believe this is Eric Rowe having to come all the way from that side of the field to tackle Keenan Allen, but it's too late. On a third and about five, 
This is just great play design, a, a great play call, knowing that he's got to throw into the blitz and the safety is the only one that has to go over there and get the tackle and he's not going to be able to do it because he can't cover that much field. Again, Justin Herbert is so good at knowing what is going on around him. He feels this blitz coming from the bottom of the screen. He's about to step up and into this throw to Joshua Palmer on a curl route for a first down, but he tucks it and now starts running towards his right side, makes that man miss. And Keenan Allen is working with him. He's open on this play, catches the ball, ends up getting the first down on what was a broken play, but Keenan Allen and Justin Herbert working through it and ending up getting a first down anyway. This is just Patrick Mahomes-esque. Justin Herbert under pressure, pocket collapsing on both sides, step up, and now I'm just gonna toss this ball to freaking Keenan Allen going towards the other side of the field. Bro, that is like a little skip pass that you see people make in flag football when they're joking around. He's doing this in an NFL game. The best throw of the game, one of the best of Justin Herbert's entire season last year. Fake handoff to the left side, roll out to my right side, pressure coming immediately. Plant, step into this throw, Mike Williams one-on-one -on -one deep down the field, hit by two Dolphins after he's thrown this ball, but this ball is perfectly placed to Mike Williams on a huge deep pass check it out from this angle man fake handoff rolling to my right side and i'm gonna stop my feet set my feet and now throw into this pass to the opposite side of the field we're covering even more ground here than just vertical distance perfectly placed to mike williams who then is going to get up and start running down the field because he doesn't think xavian howard touched him but he probably did i don't i don't remember on this play but man what a throw this is the final drive again same play keenan allen motioning towards the bottom of the line of scrimmage justin herbert knows that they're blitzing off of this side this time it's javon holland coming in on the blitz he knows immediately where he's going to throw to keenan allen picking up a third and short getting the first down on a major drive in this game and this one looks just like the last one that i showed you we got a bunch of wide receivers right here in formation keenan allen wants complete outside leverage on this dolphins cornerback and the way these routes develop is allowing keenan to completely separate from this dolphins cornerback you can see josh palmer running right in front of him keenan allen just allows it to happen you can see he's hesitating a little bit and then he's going to explode through this route right here cut and now he's got total outside leverage on the cornerback and Justin Herbert has enough arm strength to get this there and enough accuracy to place it perfectly on a third and what is this four yards and look as soon as Keenan Allen makes this break Justin Herbert in his throwing motion right now you can see he did two little hitches he probably could have thrown this a little earlier honestly and maybe allowed Keenan Allen to run a bit after the catch but the placement and the throw is absolutely perfect to Keenan Allen. I mean, we're going to see this all year long. I hope if both of these guys stay healthy, but just the connection, look at him pointing at Justin Herbert saying, you just made a great freaking throw in a pivotal moment in the game. Big time players make big time plays in big time moments. Justin Herbert on a play action pass. You can see Joshua Palmer is running this vertical route, taking both of these safeties out of the play. And Keenan Allen is just going to run this little hitch and sit right here. But now we have Austin Eckler from that play action. He's running out into the flat as an outlet receiver. Justin Herbert is looking this way. He's putting his eyes on Austin Eckler. That forces the linebacker with this much depth guarding Keenan Allen right now on this play. This forces him to break on the ball to Austin Eckler. And now Justin Herbert says, I got you. Gets right in his throwing motion as soon as Jerome Baker commits to the running back. And he lasers this ball to Keenan Allen in the soft spot of the zone created by him because he looked off the linebacker to get onto Austin Eckler. Big time play by Justin Herbert on a third down when you needed it. So that's the film, man. And I think you can see now why I think Justin Herbert is just going to ball out in week one against the Dolphins defense. But the Dolphins defense is nothing to take lightly, as you can see in this video right here. Christian Wilkins, Jalen Phillips, Bradley Chubb, man. Watch this video if you want to see them.